good afternoon welcome back to my hunting channel well i'm done hunting for the year i mean 2022 is done uh let me explain what's going on as you know i got a violation uh for having corn uh hunting with the aid of uh with bait that was the that was the only charge i had i uh talking to the game warden he could have charged me with a lot more and been more worse than what it really is uh, I cooperated, which really helped me out a lot. And I'll tell you, if you ever get stopped by game wardens, just come up front, lay it on the line, and be honest with them, whatever you do. It goes a long ways with those guys. Uh, but I will say this much. The game wardens are very professional. I respect them, and I thank them for what they did for me, uh, even though it was on my property. And I understand that laws are laws. And as a man, I face up to my own laws. I, most of the world would stand up and say, I'm guilty life would be a lot easier. So, what had happened is I got to, hold on for a second, please. <laughs> Sorry about that, a video came on. So anyway, let me explain what happened. This morning I showed up at about 8.20 down at the, uh, all right, camera, quit moving. I stopped, showed up at the courthouse at 8.20. Parking was free. I guess that's a benefit of that instead of paying $12 to park down there. I'm very grateful. Went in, I found it to be very stupid as I couldn't have my wallet because it had a chain on it. So I had to take that back to the car. But the court officers there were allowing women with pocketbook straps, lawyers with briefcases to go in and out. But I had a chain on my wallet, so I had to take it back to my car. Not a big deal. Got plenty of time. Went into the courthouse, looked at the doctor up there under my name, and it told me what room to go to. So I went in there thinking, okay, 9 o'clock. That's pretty good. I didn't get out of there at 11.30, and I will tell you why. Uh, I don't know what it is about the court. The judge would call a name or two, come up there, but the minute the lawyers showed up, all these attorney people, they got to go ahead of everybody, and they walk straight up to the boat, say, Your Honor, I'm representing so-and-so in this thing, or Your Honor, I'm representing so-and-so. And then every once in a while, a game warden would be able to get somebody up there that he got. But unfortunately, the ones that I saw had lawyers with them, so that didn't work out too good. Uh, I feel bad. Rangers are not out there to screw you. Uh, I mean, the game wardens, they're not out there to screw you. They're out there just to make sure you're staying straight and narrow in what you're doing. And they give a little leeway, according to what I heard in the court today. But a couple people want to go trialing and all this stuff and making a long case. I really feel for those guys uh, having to sit there every Tuesday or whatever day they have to sit there all day long waiting for the lawyers, just like we did waiting for the guilty people like me who had to show up, right? Uh, so, bottom line is, I got a fine from the court. I don't know exactly how much, plus $100 for the, uh, I guess, having the corn out there so I can keep my crossbow. That was a blessing. He said he could have confiscated my crossbow, paid the fines, plus the year automatically you're suspended, but he let me keep my crossbow, and that's $1,800. So I'm very, very, very grateful for that being warden there. How they found out or how they snuck into my property and observed me, there's two ways I figured it happened. Uh, one, my wife's stand was visible from the road. Somebody reported me. And then on top of that, what I really found out is uh, people out here on YouTube. Yep, believe it or not. Uh, I talked to him when he was down in Nashville. And I explained, hey, I did my YouTube video and uh, I cleaned up the corn and everything. He says, you know. He had about 10 hits on that thing telling me, hey, this guy cleaned up his corn or whatever. So... What's that mean for me? Nothing. I go about my business. I'm going to do YouTube videos and I'm just going to do it, you know, and be honest to what I do. I mean, honestly, my feeders stay out there all year round. I do put corn in there. So for those who are watching that want to report me or not, I don't really mind. Or even if they gave more than you're watching, here's the deal. In the turkey season, I will put corn in my feeders and stop in August. That way I've got 30 day window and before hunting shows up, I'm going to go out there and make sure there's no corn out there. This year, I don't have to worry about it. I'm not hunting. My wife will still hunt. And that was the other blessing I have. When he means no hunting, no trapping, that's exactly what they mean. I can't go out there, can't have a gun in my hand, I can't be near it, all like that. But the game warden here was very, very nice knowing that if my wife shoots a deer, I can go help her get that deer out of the woods. That's all I can do. I can't sit in the stand with her. I can't guide her out there. Only if she shoots the deer, I will help her drag the deer back up here and we can put it in the truck and process it. I will make sure the paperwork's filled out right. 
she will process the deer on her tag and that would be it. That's all there is to it. She hunts this year and I don't. Not a big deal. Uh, I man up to what I just said. I have my fault that I had corn on the ground. That's, you know, that's the bottom line. Uh, could have been worse. Yes. I am, like I said, I'm very, very grateful to the game wardens for the leniency they showed me and gave me back my crossbow and the respect that they showed me as much as I'm going to show them more respect now from in the future. Uh, just like you see on TV, ladies and gentlemen, except you don't get to mail the ticket in. That's all there is to it. You got to go to court and pay here in Tennessee. Uh, but that's okay. That's all right. Like I said, it's on me. But anyway, that's the update on it. So my next video is I'm installing the Omega sites on it. So stay tuned for that video. But I want to keep going with my hunting channel. But I'm going to tell you what, I will not be hunting. And I will not be in my stand this year to do the videos for 2022. Uh, I will video my wife if she's out there. Uh, I'll let her video and do put her video in here and talk to you from here. That way I'm not hunting, okay? And there's no questions about it. And I'll post the pictures of my wife during her kill. And that's only respecting for her because she earned it, right? But I will not have a gun in my hand. will not have a bow in my hand. I will not trap out there. I'm not going to do nothing until the... Uh, 21st of next year that'd be my year up and then i can start spring turkey which is cool i'll be hunting turkey in 2023 and then in deer season in 2023 so i look forward to that but that gives me more time to do my food plots and uh sharpen my skills a little bit so i will be shooting my crossbow in the yard that's not hunting that's just target practicing uh, but i thank you for watching my channel please stay in touch with me uh, I got other things that I do reviewing. I do my motorcycle rides and sometimes I just get on here and jaw jack without an opening. But I do appreciate you sticking on my channel. Uh, got any comments, please list them below if you're uh, willing to. Give me a thumbs up if you like me, you know, the other direction. Please subscribe and hit that little bell if you want to hear notification that I got a new video up. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you a great hunting season and my wife a great hunting season. And I will be listening and watching from afar, but I want to see your videos out there if you got them too on hunting, as long as you do it right. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you're approached by the game warden, be straight up, be honest, be cooperative. It does go a long ways, all right? Let's have a happy hunting season. Thank you, and have a good day.